Hello, and welcome to our demonstration of sheet metal in space claim. So we'll start with we'll bringing a step file of this plastic housing that was recently made. So it comes in from the step file format. We can import from many different places like ProE, SolidWorks, and Venture Katia. And so looking at this, we want to change it to sheet metal. Because of a low production, it'll be cheaper for us to make it out of sheet metal than to have us mold it. So let's get rid of some of the features that are commonly associated with the plastic part. Go ahead and rip off all the rounds that are on the model as we start to work with it. So we have sharper corners that will be useful when making our sheet metal part. And now we have a constant thickness here. So let's build some intelligence into the model and have Space Claim recognize all the walls with that constant thickness. And now that we have them, we can select them all at once and go ahead and get rid of the draft that's on the model. And we can watch it update right now. So once we've gotten rid of the draft and some of the rounds, we can get rid of some of the inner features that are on the inside of our plastic part, like the ribs and like some of our punch outs, because we're only going to need the flat walls for the sheet metal part. So after selecting on all these internal features, we can fill them in with one click of a button. So now we're pretty much ready to go, but there's two ways to approach the problem. I can copy that top surface and bring it into a new design, and I'll start to create that sheet metal from scratch. But because it's a symmetric part, I think I'm going to start ahead and cut off one side so that I can only model half and then mirror the rest of it over later on. So in space claim, again, you can select anywhere and pull anything, however thick you want it to be. But let's set it at a thickness of 5 millimeters. Now we can go ahead and turn this part to sheet metal. So we'll be able to have alternate modifications possible for us. By just selecting on an edge, we can quickly pull that out and create a wall. And zooming in, we can switch that junction to different types, uh, full, partial, or half relief or put it back to a bend. And as well as, as making one wall at a time, we can go ahead and select on multiple walls and pull them all at the same time to create them at once. But let's actually do it a little bit more precise, and we'll pull all these walls up to the wall I've already created. And in addition to making the walls, you can also go back and make your punch outs. So we need to create that on the back, we can punch that through. So now we've seen some full walls, we can also make partial walls just by pulling our wall points from the end. And we can precisely dimension them too. Let's pull that down 80, just like the other walls. So now we can modify this after we've created it by either moving our wall left or right to add a little bit more of a leeway in there. Or we could take this wall and rotate it out. So we can put it at the precise angle it needs to be. But in this example, we're going to keep it 90, so let's escape out of that. And look at some of the relief points that Space Claim automatically puts in. You can see we can go down to our properties and edit that, whether we want to make it a little bit deeper, or change it from a round to a square relief, or to a rip relief. In addition to making it longer, you can make it wider as well. So on our last wall, we can bring that down the same 80, but let's put a mount on the side of it. So we'll go ahead and angle that outwards 90, and we can quickly split that up into two different parts. If we need to do that, we can go ahead and pull this back a little bit so we can create an overlap. We can either create a, a hem coming back to it, or a quick S-bend that'll match up perfectly to the part we've already created. Then we can just go back in and put some mounting holes so we can combine the two together and mount it up. So once we've finished this and have basically half of our part ready to go, let's go through and actually mirror this design over to the other side. So we can mirror over our main part and the additional one we created to mount it on. So that's how we've quickly created geometry in Space Claims Sheet Metal Package. Now let's go back to our plastic part and work on this. So we can see it's a little bit um, thick when I go ahead and turn this to sheet metal in our structure tree. So the first thing let's do is thin this out. We'll change it from 15 to 3 millimeters. That's a little bit more reasonable. And now on all these hard corners, let's put a, a corner relief. 
So we can see how all of those are done at the same time. And the ones we didn't get on the bottom, we can select in them and even select through the model by filtering on just points. So now that all of our corner reliefs are in, we can select on some edges and then go back to power select to quickly give me all the edges on the model of the same length so I can rip them all at once. So now that I've made a relief on the edges and the corners, the last thing I need to do is go through and pick which edges I want to round and be a bend. So we can grab all these edges on the top and round them all together. So now we'll look at our unfolded. And in looking at it, I can see that there's a little bit of a problem. There's some areas of interference indicated in red, and also the corners, top and bottom, didn't bend out. So let's take care of those. So we can go through and then just split the face and indicate where we want it to bend out, either by creating a miter bend, going from corner to corner, and we can watch it update in the flat pattern, or go through and make a straight bend, as we'll cut it straight across and have the other side update too. And it appears we forgot to put some rounds or bends on some of the corners, so we can go through and select on them, add our bend, and again, it updates in the flat pattern, and we can see it in this split screen mode. But now we need to get rid of this overlap on the parts, so we can grab on these guys, and maybe we'll change those bends to a rip, and now we can go back in and add the bends wherever they need to be. So now we can actually manufacture this properly, and we have an end product. Alright, thank you for watching our sheet metal demonstration.